Hey learners! Welcome back to my channel. For today's lesson, I will be discussing the second to the last topic for this quarter, which are about ions. Our learning objective for this lesson Determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in a particular ions. But before we proceed on our lesson, don't forget these following reminders. Utilize the use of comment section to answer or ask questions. And use appropriate words when chatting in the comment section. Before I start, these are the following words that you might be encounter as we go along in our lesson. Valence electron is an outer shell electron that is associated with an atom. Oxidation is the loss of electron during a reaction by a molecule, atom, or ion. Reduction is a gain of electrons. Ion, charge of an atom. Ionization, process of an atom becoming an ion, and nucleons, protons, and neutrons inside the nucleus. Let us have a short recap regarding with the periodic table of elements. Periodic table of elements is a list of elements that are arranged according to the increasing of atomic number or increasing of atomic mass. The elements are also arranged according to its similar properties. Periodic table of elements are categorized into two major parts, namely period or series and family or group. Period or series is the horizontal arrangement of the elements in the periodic table. Meaning, these are the elements that are arranged according to increasing of atomic number and increasing of atomic mass. While family or group, these are the vertical arrangement of the elements which can be described having the similar properties or characteristics of elements. Family or group are divided into two, family A and family B. Family A consists of the following, alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, boron group, carbon group, nitrogen group, calcogen group, halogen group, and lastly, noble gases. Family B, which are commonly located on the center part of the periodic table, consists of transition metals, early and late transition metals. So now, let's start the lesson by defining what are ions. Ion is a charged atom or even a charged molecule. They are neither negative or positive. How are ions formed? Take a look of the illustration. Ions are formed by the addition of electrons or removal of electrons from neutral atoms or molecules or other ions by combination of ions with other particles. Metal atoms tend to lose electron through the process of oxidation. They also lose electron because of having low electron negativity. Electronegativity is the ability of the atom to attract electrons. When an atom loses an electron, it will form positively charged ion. Therefore, there are more protons than electrons, and an atom gains a positive charge is called cations. Another one. Take a look of the illustration. Non-metal atoms tend to gain electrons or electrons from another atom to become negatively charged ions. 
when an atom gain electrons, it will form negatively charged ion. Because there are more electrons than protons, and an atom gain a negative charge is called an ions. Non-metal also described has a high electron negativity. The process of an atom becoming an ion is called ionization. Take note of this image. Remember, the number of electrons that gain or lose is called valence. So it is important that you know how to get valence electron in the outermost shell. But don't worry, you can identify the valence electron by simply looking on its family or group. Again class, metal atom tends to lose electron to form a positively charged ion called cation. While non-metal atom tend to gain electron to form a negatively charged ion called an ion. So now, let us discuss how to determine the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons in cations and in anions. A neutral atom has the same number of protons and electrons. A positively charged ion called cation has more protons than electron. The proton number is the atomic number of the element, while the electron number is the atomic number minus the charge. A negatively charged ion called an ion has more electrons than protons. Again, the number of protons is equal to the atomic number, while the number of electrons is the atomic number minus the charge. To get the number of neutrons, subtract the atomic number from the mass number. Example, calcium ion. Calcium has an atomic number of 20 and atomic mass of 40 with its valence of positive 2. The number of proton is 20 which is based on its atomic number. The number of neutron is equal to atomic mass which is 40 minus its atomic number which is 20 so the number of neutron is equivalent to 20. In terms of the number of electron, number of electron is equal to its atomic number which is 20 minus its valence which is positive 2 so that the number of electron is equal to 18. Why is it 18? Simply because it's unlike sign. So that the operation to be used is subtraction. Another example is phosphorus ion. Phosphorus has an atomic number of 15 and atomic mass of 31 with its valence of negative 3. So same process as what we have done in the previous example. The number of proton is 15. The number of neutron is equal to 31 minus 15. So that is equivalent to 16. The number of electron is equal to 15 minus its valence of negative 3. So that is like sign. The operation to be used is addition. So 15 plus 3 that is equivalent to 18 electrons. Another example is barium ion. Barium has an atomic number of 56 and atomic mass of 137 with its valence of positive 2. So the number of proton is 56, the number of neutron is 81, the number of electron is equal to 56 minus its valence of positive 2 which is 54. Another example is oxygen ion. Oxygen has an atomic number of 8 and atomic mass of 16 with its valence of negative 2. So the number of proton is 8, neutron is 8, the number of electron is equal to 8 minus its valence of negative 2 since that is like sign, it should be added. So 8 plus 2, total number of electron is 10. So now, let's proceed on how the subatomic particles are distributed in an atom, 
anion or cation. According to Neil Bohr, he is a Danish physicist developed a planetary model of an atom. He based his model on the experimental data obtained by Rutherford. He also explained that each of these orbit or orbital was assigned a certain value. He called this as energy levels or energy shells. This is a planetary model that discovered by Till Bohr. It composed of two major parts, which are the nucleus, where protons and neutrons are located, and the orbital, where electrons are located. The number of orbitals are labeled as K, L, M, and N shell. The electrons located farther from the nucleus is called excited state or excited level, meaning it is unstable state electron due to high amount of energies. All electrons that are near to nucleus called ground state or ground level, meaning this is the most stable state of electron due to low amount of energies. The number of orbital depends on the atomic number of an atom or an element. Each orbital has a certain maximum amount of electrons. Electrons at different energy levels of an atom. The energy level consists of seven energy levels, meaning the maximum number of orbital is seven. The maximum number of electron in each energy level and the maximum number of electrons actually found in nature are shown in your screen. Example of distribution of electron. Aluminum. Aluminum has an atomic number of 13 and atomic mass of 27. Meaning, the number of protons and electrons are equal, which is 13, and the number of neutron is 14. The maximum number of electron in the first orbital is 2. The maximum number of electron in the second orbital is 8. And the maximum number of electron in the third orbital is 18. Since the given electron in aluminum is 13, in the last orbital, only 3 electrons are present. Take note class, the number of orbital represents the period or series of this element while the number of electrons located in the last orbital represents its valence. In describing the distribution of electron in an ion, we must follow the process of identifying its electron. Example, sodium ion. Sodium has an atomic number of 11 and atomic mass of 23. So the number of proton is 11, the number of neutron is 12 from atomic mass of 23 minus atomic number of 11. The number of electron is 10. Why? Because atomic number of 11 minus its valence of positive 1. So that is unlike sign. So it should be subtracted. So 11 minus 1, that is equivalent to 10 electrons. So same process. The maximum number of electron in the first orbital is 2. The maximum number of electrons in the second orbital is 8. When you total all the electrons present in sodium ion, that is equivalent to 10. So that's all for today, class. Thank you. I hope you learned something. If you want more science blog class, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the bell for our next science vlog class. See you! Bye!